Eric Von Adler York, and I have a new video for you guys. Okay, let's get started. So, well, today I got a new tank, and, well, this tank is the Tiger Osf H, I think. And then, well, first, let's get into the review itself. This is a Rick Mania model from, like, I don't know how much years ago, but it's the version before the, what, the current Brick Mania Tiger. I think it's from like 2011 or younger. I mean, older. So, um, well, here's the front. It has two accessible hatches right here and right here. There is a shovel right here, some spare tracks right here. I didn't have like a blue, dark bluish gray, whatever the, that thing's called. Sorry, I don't know the names at all. And then right here we have the barrel. Right here. And then right here we got smoke grenades. One, there's one right here. And there's one right here. On top is the machine gun. And then right here there's another machine gun. Right here is the... Where the... Where the driver sees, like, what's in front of him. And then on the side, I updated this thing, the side skirts. So it looked more like the newer one. And when I bought it, it didn't come with these things. And, um, I don't know what these things are, right here. In the back. Right here. So you can comment down below, tell me what it is. Well, I don't know what these things call all either. I think these these are the exhausts for sure. Um, the turret itself can come off like that. I'll put it to the side. And you can also take off the top. I mean, the hole. I think that's how you call it. I'm not sure. I'm really sorry that, well, you know, I just can't pronounce today for some reason. So I'll go in right now. So, um, wait. Oh, shoot, I forgot one more thing to show you. On the bottom, there's like this thing. It doesn't have suspension like my Panther. But it's okay, I guess. Not every tank comes with suspension, right? So, when taking it off, it's not that easy. Because it's a pretty old tank. So, I just found myself this thing right here. I modified this tank a bunch. It took me like a day or two. Non-stop. Well, not non-stop, but... I okay, there we go. Oop. Sorry for that. Okay, there we go. And here it is. And move that right there. And there we go. So here you see the thing... Right here is the motor. You can take it off. This thing spins. You can put it back in. And then in the front, there are seats for a gunner. I mean, a machine gunner. And a um, driver. So right here and right here. And then, right here is the thing that rotates. It's sort of, like, wiggly and loose. But... That doesn't matter right now, considering the fact that, like, this is an old tank. Really old tank. Oops. Try and position my camera now. Alright, so, I'm gonna assemble this thing back and show you the size comparison with the Panther. 
And so right now, I'm going to put this in. Oh yeah, I forgot that you have to put the hull first. <clears throat> like that. Oh yeah, the ta tracks roll. Go. And it goes on like that. So, it goes on very easily, so there's no point in watering. It takes a little bit longer to assemble than the panther, but it's okay. So here's my panther. Here's the size comparison. It is slightly, slightly larger. And by slightly, I mean like by the barrel. Right here, right here, and right here, and so, um, the tiger is much taller, and, like, wider, while the panther is much lower. Well, you look at the pan uh, the tiger for a pretty long time, and then you look at the panther, the panther just looks so flat, and then, well, that's the end of the review. So, here are my, like recommendations for the if you should get a tiger you should get a tiger because like it's a very rare tank in world war ii and it's also very recognizable and famous so oh yeah and it looks just beast so put the panther away okay Let's take a good look at the tiger. So yeah, that's the end of the review. See you later.